Hello friends, my name is BN Vichar. I have been using ZBrush since 2007. Uh, the best thing I like about ZBrush is the clay which never dries. I would like to uh, share the easy way of creating uh, stocking with design using ZBrush. I usually use this uh, technique uh, in my skull and it's very handy and it's very fast to create uh, uh, this uh, you know uh, detail uh, micro detail so let me show uh, the process how I uh, create uh, first uh, I uh, extract mesh uh, from the uh, uh, model uh, if I have a topology it's uh, uh, very helpful uh, if you are creating from Dynamesh, you can mask it and then uh, create a separate geometry. So uh, for this, I have extracted from the model. Uh, the first step is go to uh, UV Master, uh, click Unwrap. Uh, once you create Unwrap, uh, go to Morph, uh, UV Map, Morph UV. Uh, see how uh, your uh, UV uh, been uh, opened and usually in ZBrush uh, the UV opens up nicely uh, and it's uh, way faster uh, and quick uh, if you want a very precise uh, uh, design to be followed or a precise way uh, uh, then you have to do manual UV and bring it here so once uh, this is uh, quite uh, fine for me uh, for the result what I'm looking for so once that is done, uh, subdivide several times. So I have divided uh, six smooth at this uh, uh, time, uh, but you can go uh, beyond than that also because how, uh, how dense it will be, it will be so crisp and neat. The designs will be so crisp and uh, neat. Uh, the next step is uh, go to surface, surface noise, go to edit and uh, I have uh, used uh, alpha, a uh, tileable alpha, uh, to uh, wrap around on the uh, to uh, on the, my hand to uh, get the design. So frame the model and keep the noise scale to five twelve. Uh, make sure that you're on UV and uh, the strength. It doesn't matter uh, because you're not going to drop on the model uh, the uh, those detail so it doesn't matter how much you keep uh, uh, you uh, have kept it for uh, one, uh, 1201 and uh, have kept uh, this attribute for max you can play with the uh, different attributes uh, which gives a different result so I keep it for max and you can play with uh, you know alpha scale what is the scale you are looking for uh, once uh, you're fine with that you can uh, uh, drop down uh, so you will get something like this uh, once uh, you uh, you're happy with this then uh, go to uh, geometry and delete lower and go to uh, surface noise and don't, uh, you know, don't apply to mesh, uh, apply mask by noise. So what happens is it, uh, you know, it's very handy if you uh, use it as a mask because uh, you can go clean the glitches uh, when texture is not working. So uh, right now, uh, you know, you can clean the unwanted uh, art artifacts uh, very precisely clean. Uh, you have you can if you spend uh, a couple of uh, time in this you get a very precise result uh, so uh, once this is done I use control alt to sharpen the mask so you can go to masking and uh, uh, you know manually you can go and do sharpen the mask in this way uh, I usually use the shortcut in my keyboard uh, Control Alt and tap on the model so it will become sharper. And the next step is go to Edge Loop on Crisp and press Edge uh, Edge Loop Mask Border. So I have uh, created already that because it takes several minutes. 
So I've already uh, done this process. So once you've done that, uh, what it does is uh, ZBrush calculate the, uh, the edge of the mask and uh, draws a loop for you and creates a poly group also. So it becomes very handy. So once this is done, uh, the next uh, process is like uh, go for geometry uh, uh, go for group loop and uh, uh, keep for one because I need only one group loop around my uh, design so I have kept one group loop and G polish for 50 uh, in this uh, the there is a uh, other option it's a uh, closed circle open circle when you play with this two setting you get different uh, result right now it is in a default thing so uh, when you apply group loop uh, you will uh, get a, a group around your design like this so it's uh, very helpful and very handy in the further process so once this is done I keep one more duplicate of this one and I'll go to uh, uh, I'll go to deform deformation uh, use polish by group so it uh, cleans the group polish the group polish the crisp edge uh, you would be uh, cleaning uh, the edges which is not uh, crisp and clean uh, once that is done uh, I will be deleting the uh, other surface which is not required so go to geometry tab go for uh, modify topology delete hidden once that is done uh, I'll keep a copy of uh, this and I will only uh, select the design and go to geometry delete hidden and come to uh, 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 repeat the same process I need the border so uh, go to geometry tab delete hidden so I have two separate polygroup one is the outline and one is the design so uh, once this is done I'll go to geometry the next stage uh, dynamic subdivision apply dynamic and I don't need smooth so I need a thickness for my uh, design for the cloth design so I keep uh, the thickness I'm quite happy with the thickness so let me come out from the solo okay then I go for the border design I go for geometry once again uh, the same process dynamic certain time uh, you know uh, you it throws up error because your mesh is not clean and uh, it can be fixed very easily go to uh, uh, go to mesh integrity and say fix mesh so it cleans the mesh and uh, go to dynamic subdivision click dynamic uh, we don't need smooth here once again the thickness so I want a little more thickness I'll keep this yeah this is good for me uh, I think I'll give a little more thickness to it so that you have that uh, double step and embossing feel to it so once this is done uh, I'll uh, drop it I'll say apply uh, right now it is just for viewing uh, when you're in dynamic mode when you apply now uh, it has applied to the mesh and same thing I do for the design also I'll say apply to the mesh once this is done I'll uh, merge both uh, sub tool into one sub tool okay this once this is done I'll go to deformation tab uh, use polish by group it cleans the poly group polish crisp edge sorry uh, so sometime you need to play around uh, uh, what result you're looking for uh, 
and polish by features based on the feature it will uh, polish so once that is done sorry uh, i'll go to uh, the poly group the mask it uh, in my selection i'll soften my uh, mask and i use inflate 0.09 i start with very low intensity uh, so that you know uh, i can see the result uh, rather than play, uh, you know uh, giving a huge number so i'm quite happy with this i'll reverse uh, the mask and i'll make sure that i give little more thickness to my uh, design so yeah i'm quite happy with uh, the how the border design has come out the beading so i go once again polish crisp edge so yeah i'm quite happy with the result uh, you could see uh, you know you're getting a nice bevel feel to it once this is done i'll go back uh, to the the first uh, mesh what i had created uh, i uh, reconstructed it because since it's a quad i had uh, dropped down the geometry previously that's a uh, it's a very help uh, handy when you keep uh, you know multiple uh, elements in the sub tool so any point of time you can go back and uh, you know uh, recreate it so uh, since it's not uh, properly caught uh, i'm going to make it in z, uh, z remesher i keep one and a z remesh so that i get a proper chord mesh so once this is done i uh, subdivide and so i will project to the uh, higher subdivision mesh go to projection let me off all the things so that i just take only Uh, the z remesher and the uh, high poly mesh what i had created i'll project all so that it's wrapped to the hand closer to the hand and go to geometry delete lower delete high, uh, uh, you know the higher once that is done go to uh, dynamic subdivision let me go for solo uh, in dynamic subdivision i don't need smooth here uh, and then i'll apply micro poly on this so uh, you can create your own micro poly uh, that's a coolest uh, feature in the latest zbrush so i am really right now using the default uh, micro mesh so uh, this comes with poly group and it's easy to control and there are several other attributes here uh, align rotate or uh, you know uh, scale Uh, you can play with lot of values right now i kept it as a default thing once it's done so i'll say apply go for deformation once again polish by group uh, polish by crisp edge so you get a nice netted feel or uh, you can use a little polish also so that uh, you know i'll let me use a polish so yeah i got a very nice uh, looking netted uh, uh, cloth so once again uh, i'll uh, on my hand go for here so go to deformation and i inflate it a bit so that it looks like uh, it's tight to the hand uh, and so let me uh, inflate it a little bit so that the design is on top of it so uh, it's ready so it's so easy so fast and it gives the result way quicker i hope uh, you enjoyed it